Hey guys, I got another project. This one is a little bit out of the realm of scalers and crawlers, but kind of sort of still is. I'm going to be building a mega buggy, and this one is going to be designed to mud bog and hopefully drive on top of water or water skip and hopefully drive on top of the mud as well. Now, the chassis I'm using is sold as a TRX4 bouncer chassis. And you can get this from Team Raffi or Asia Tees, probably a few other places. Believe me when I tell you, this is not a bolt-on TRX4 bouncer chassis or conversion. It sucks for that. The front steering, the pan hard, is just really badly designed. Really badly designed. Uh, the shocks don't even want to fit right because... The, bat, the bodies actually hit the uh, holes in here in the back. The, it can't compress because the drive shaft compresses up into the uh, transmission. So you have almost no compression with this design. So this is really a waste of money unless you're willing to cut it up and do something else with it. That's what I'm going to do. Take a look. This is what I'm working with. TRX4 axles. Techno center diff. A big Hobbywing 550 motor, got some King shocks, links that I've had laying around for a while. I'm just making them work. J Concept, Fling Kings, and that chassis I just showed you. I'm going to try to mock all this up and show you guys where I'm at. With everything loosely bolted together, you can see that the top links still aren't connected to anything. I've got to weld in some mounts for those. I'm going to cut these loose and move them forward so I can use more of the shock adjustments right there. I'm going to do some cutting right here, take some of that out and add a hole up here so I could get the rear shock top up here. So I really don't want it to be as tall as it is. So I've also got to cut out the whole servo area right up front here. This whole area right here has got to get cut out for servo clearance on compression. Probably going to go with the Ot6 Hero drive shafts. Hopefully they'll hold up. That's the uh, Techno Center diff right there. It's got 50k diff oil in it. So, yeah, I got a lot to do. But you know, I think it's going to be all right. I think it's going to work good. Now, there's one thing I've got to correct here. I used the bolts that the Traxxas transmission is supposed to bolt to. Look at all that. I got to bring this down or in video up, I guess right here. So I really want to bring this to at least close to even with the bottom of it, you know, just because I don't really like that. I can get better driveline angles if I bring that down. So anyway, I got a lot of work to do, cutting, welding, just all kinds of stuff to take care of. Yeah. Anyway, that's just to show you guys where I am currently. So I'm hoping the best for this project. I'm hoping it holds up. I hope I get the power to the ground like I'm hoping for. And if everything works out, it should be pretty darn awesome. Stay tuned for part two. I'm not sure how quick you're going to get it, but it should be soon. Thank you all for watching.